Yeah, Liz and Jim, at an airport in Jacksonville, the governor was joined by Florida lawmakers and the State Department of Law Enforcement to announce his new plan to fight illegal immigration. We need to do everything in our power to protect the people of Florida from what's going on at the border and the border crisis. Governor Ron DeSantis announcing what he calls Florida's fight against Biden's border crisis. The legislation enhances penalties for human smuggling. People that are bringing in into the state of Florida, people that are here illegally, uh, it's going to be a third degree felony uh, if you're doing that and a second degree felony if they're aggravating circumstances. Uh, we also say that it's a separate offense for each individual transported, concealed, or harbored. It also requires all employers in the state to e-verify potential employees, makes it a felony to use false identification to obtain employment, and can lead to an employer's license being revoked if they violate the requirements more than once in two years. If you remove the enticement of employment, then they're not going to want to come illegally to the state of Florida. So that's a huge, huge issue. The legislation also prohibits issuing ID cards to people who are in the state illegally. Our proposed legislation will prohibit that practice. Local governments will not be able to provide funds to issue ID cards to illegal aliens. Uh, and the legislation will invalidate all out-of-state licenses that have been given to illegal aliens. DeSantis says the proposal also requires hospitals to collect and report data on the immigration status of patients and the cost of providing care to illegal aliens. The governor says many of these initiatives build off his previous actions regarding the border policy. In the studio, I'm Amber Robb, CBS 12 News. Well, just